Hello everyone. So recently, I think last week or the week before, there was a big update to Class In, and I usually like to make a video when there's a big update and a lot of changes, but this update was mainly related to screen share. And honestly, I don't use screen share with my students. Never ever use screen share. I have made videos in the past about screen share to show how to use it, but it's not something I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So I needed to really play around with it before making a video about the feature. So most of you probably know more about the new screen share features, the update than I do, but I still do every once in a while, this last couple weeks, have seen some teachers asking questions about the new screen share. So I am going to make a video now. I might miss something little. So if you notice me miss something, please call me out and let me know. Um, and I might forget exactly what was on the old version and what's on the new version. So I might cover things that have not changed, but for the most part, I'm going to walk through how the new screen share is slightly different than it was previously. And again, if I miss something or say something that I think is new, but it's been there forever, I apologize. I just don't use screen share. I don't like it personally, but I know there are many teachers out there that love it they use it for every class. So I do want to make sure everybody is aware of some of those changes. So first of all, let's take a look at the screen share button. So when you go to screen share, it's still in the tools. You still have three options. You have the desktop sharing, the teacher screen sharing, and the student screen sharing. I don't know any teachers that use student screen sharing, but if you had an older student, where they're using a computer and they were sharing like some work that they have, you might want to use the student screen share, but I'm going to just be focusing on the first two because I know that's what most teachers are using. So the first thing that has not changed is the desktop sharing is still the only option for sharing audio. And what that means is if you're trying to show like a YouTube video with sound, you're going to have to use the desktop sharing if you want the student to be able to hear the audio. And now you actually have the option before you even open screen share, this is different, to turn on share audio. So if you have it off, you can still share your desktop, but they won't be able to hear anything from the desktop. So if you want to share the sound, make sure that is on. You can do that before you do it or while you have it open. Well, the teacher screen sharing says it supports brush, which is just the pen tools, instead of audio. I still hope one day they will combine the two and have a way for the pen and the audio to be used together, but right now they are still two separate options. The other thing that is different is you can see what the options are right here. So if for a desktop, I have two monitors, so I have two options for a desktop. So I can click the option I want before I actually share the screen. That saves you time from the student seeing everything before you choose which one you want. Teacher screen share. Again, you have the desktop options. I can share my entire desktop or I can share different um, tabs or different things that I have open. So like I have my Google Drive open, I have Manicam open, I have OBS for recording open, and my ten, pen tablet is just what I use for writing. So you can choose exactly what you want before you actually share it with the student. So let's go to desktop sharing first. And this is something that I'm not quite sure if it's different or not, but I will take a look here, share the screen. So this does look different, I know for sure. Um, you have just your video boxes in one little section, and then you have all of your tools and you can move this wherever you want. But keep in mind, you are sharing this screen. So that means the student can see this video box and they can see wherever I move the video box and they can see where I move this. Um, I can't make this bigger, but if you want to see, so what they see, so here's the video box that I have on my screen that I'm screen sharing and they can see the video boxes up at the top. So it's a little different the way it shares now. So now when they're sharing, 
It's actually, it keeps their classroom, so that top bar is still there. I'm pretty sure previously it completely went to like a big black bar at the top. So now they have the regular classroom bar at the top where they see our video boxes. But because I'm sharing my screen, my entire screen, they also see us again here. So they're seeing you double and they're seeing themselves double. I'm pretty sure this is different from before. I don't remember that before, but I could be wrong. So keep that in mind <laughs> that they are seeing double of you and them. So you can change a few things up here. If I hit this, it makes us disappear. Um, that's good for them because they're not seeing double anymore, but it's bad for you because now you can no longer see them. So I'm not uh, sure if that's the best option, but now I can get us back. So the minus takes it away. The little three bars brings us back. Um, this one here shows just me. And again, they see this too. So whatever you're doing anywhere on the screen, the student also sees. So goodbye, just me, both of us. So keep that in mind. If you move yourself somewhere on top of words, they're not going to be able to see the words because you are covering them with this video box. Same thing with this. Don't put it in the middle of something that they need to read. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to see it because they also see this. And I'll show you again, so you can see it. There is that bar at the bottom that I moved. They see everything that you see. So on here, let's take a look. This is a little different. So now, excellent. I know a lot of teachers wanted this. I now have the ability to give, turn on, of course, turn on their tools, which is good, in screen share, and the um, trophy. So I have the ability to give them the trophy during screen share. But again, <laughs> I'm not sure why they did this, but because they're seeing double, they're also seeing double of the trophy. <laughs> so if you can see it, if I give a trophy, they're seeing double the trophy. <laughs> so they're seeing themselves get the trophy here and they're seeing themselves get the trophy in the classroom. Kind of weird, but I mean, not a big deal. So <laughs> they have the trophy option in screen share. This is desktop share, remember the first option. So this is the ability to share sound. So down here, you can turn on and off your sound. This is just for the teacher. Then a camera, of course, on and off the camera. Um, new sharing. So this is where I can turn on and off the audio if I decide to change that. I can also change what I'm sharing, like I selected in the beginning. If I want to change to desktop too, I can do that. Hands up, that's for the student. On stage, one hands up, I can turn that off and on. I have the chat box, just like in the classroom I can use, and then more. I can record the lesson from here, and I can see my settings from here as well. Um, this little bar just makes this get smaller, which is good for it getting out of the way. Like I said, the student can see that bar. So if you want it to be smaller, so the student get, doesn't get distracted. And this is good too. You can see your um, monitor uh, your connection. So I can see what my ping is, my network. I can see my CPU. I can see my status is excellent. And of course that changes colors if it gets bad goes to yellow, orange, red, etc. You want it to be white. So that's always good to see as well while you're screen sharing. Okay, um, I think this is pretty much it for desktop sharing. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> so the big green box. So where you see that green around the outside of my screen, that is what the student sees. I believe previously it used to be like a smaller box when you'd open screen share and then you could expand it out. So now it automatically makes it full screen, your entire screen, but you can still make it smaller. So I'm gonna bring myself down here. You see that little circle in the corner? If you click on that, it will make it smaller. So now my student is only seeing what's in that green box. They're not seeing my entire desktop anymore. And then from this, you can adjust it. So I can use this little four-way arrow to move it around if I want to like zoom in on just certain things for the student to see. And then I can move it out, move it down, wherever you want if you have a certain area 
and you don't want to share your entire desktop. The only negative is it starts out immediately your entire desktop. Then you have to make it smaller. And of course, again, this is for desktop share. Okay, so you have a lot more features now that were available in the regular classroom and now they are available in the screen share option. Okay, now I'm gonna end sharing and oh, I'm gonna run out of time. Let's go to the teacher screen share. So again, this is the one that does not share sound, but they have the tools. So I'm gonna just do my desktop again. And so now again, the green box is open, my entire desktop, I can change it just like before. And I can click that button again to make it go back to full, back and forth. So it looks the same. I have my picture box or my video box and the student, but some reason <laughs> with teacher screen share, they do not see double. So even though it looks like I'm sharing my entire screen, the student only sees us at the top in their classroom. You're not sharing yourself and you're not sharing this bar, which is excellent. I don't know why they have it that way with desktop share, but it does not do that with teacher screen share. So the big difference is the sound, of course. We still have the same features here with the boxes. You could still give trophy and the nice part is since they only see themselves once, they only see one trophy, it's not double. You still have this bar down here with the sound, the camera, new sharing, if you want to change screens, and you can see there's a lot more lag. Desktop share is a lot faster, I've noticed. Um, there is definitely a little more lag with the teacher screen share. Um, note, so this is where your tools are. Um, and if you want to click through those, it's basically the same. Here's to clear the entire screen, text box, everything is there. You have the roster that you can open, you have the chat box, and then you have more. So this one's a little different. Um, here you have forbid student control. So when that is on, even if I have the, the crown, <laughs> if I forbid student control, they cannot right on the screen, even though their tools are on. So I can see my tools with my student. There's the tools, but I am not able to write on anything. So you would have to change, go to more and authorize students to draw. Once you click that, now my student can draw on the screen. Okay. Then if I want to turn it off, I can of course do the crown. Crown will turn off their tools or you can go to forbid student control. You will see authorized students to click. Keep in mind, just like before, this has not changed, that's always been there, but that only works if the student is on a computer. It does not work for students on an iPad. So you can click that button all you want, but my iPad, I cannot click on anything. I'm trying to click, 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 can't do it does not work with iPads, only if the student uses a computer. So keep that in mind. Um, that's pretty much it. You can make it smaller again, open it up, and everything else is pretty much the same as desktop share, except for those few minor differences. So there you go. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If you see that I did miss something, please let me know. Hopefully I got it all in there. My temporary class is about to end, so I hope this helps some people that were confused about how I could make the size bigger and smaller. That was the biggest question I saw. How do I make my desktop share smaller? Hopefully that answered your question. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll be happy to help you. Bye everyone.